Hey guys, Gathering Magic back again. Another Glint Store Buy video for Saturday, October 5th, 2024. So another rough day of grinding, but managed to get through um, all three accounts. Got enough Glint on my third account to pick up five common cards. It's kind of my goal every day. So let's go ahead and get those. See if we can get lucky and get a rare card. That way I can uh, keep that gold and... Still deciding if I want to unlock the card and sell it or just burn it for glint. I believe I have one or two at least gold cards in this account. So starting with Hobgoblin, Evoker, another Evoker, Conscript, and Skink. So let's take a look at our cards. So we have two gold cards, as you can see on this account. Okay, so we have enough evokers now to get to level three. So he is level three, or she is level three. Extra health. Okay, and the Hobgoblin. Got enough of you now to get you to level 3. Love that immunity. Want, I've actually won a couple of games with this card simply because of the immunity in Poison Rule sets. Okay, so it looks like our fire cards are both level 3. Need two more of the Skink to get that to 3. Uh, five more of the Trader, three more of the Huntress. Wild Elf is taken care of. Demon and Explorer are done. Two more Thugs, two more Braves. Yep, we're getting there. Okay, so now let's go to the $10 account. So we've got 1,500 Glint here. Uh, so it's always a question, two rares or 10 commons? Let's go for 10 commons. Okay, starting with the Explorer, Earth Thug, Conscript, Evoker, Brave. So, nice mix of cards there. Brave. Oh, there we go. Awesome. Gold Thug. So, Death is my favorite splinter, so very glad to get a gold card there. Awesome. Okay. Once again, let's check these out. So, there you can see there's our... Gold cards actually got two of the trader to get it to level four. Okay, so where do we sit here? So we've still got level three for fire. Got the level four gold. Skink's got a ways to go to get to level four. Huntress is level three gold. Wild Elf, I think I need four more copies of that. Explorer's level four. I think I need one more demon to get that one to level four. Just picked up that gold uh, Earth Thug, very nice. So this guy's gonna get me an extra 10% uh, uh, glint when I use him, so happy with that. And there's the rest of them. Uh, just to kinda show you where the account sits, there's this is where we're sitting with rare cards. So still need a couple copies of each of the fire to get those to level two. Uh, Razor Hound, we have uh, four of those, but I thought I had a gold of that one. Must be a different account. So we need one more Razor Hound, two more Nomad. Yeah, tomorrow if I can get a decent amount of glint, I think we're going to go for a couple of rares because we do have, you know, we're getting close on some of these where we only need one or two copies. And then, of course, the bottom row is looking nice. They're all level twos. So now let's finish it with the main account with Jovac. Got 7,400 glint. Just shy of getting an epic. But I really want to get a lot of rares. So we'll get nine rares. Okay, 
yeah, this is a rarity I really want to work on on my main account. Start getting these things to level 3 and 4. I want to see the uh, uh, Arborist. That's the one I want to get to level 3 to get the um, Magic Reflect. Of course, didn't get any of those today, but did get nice mix. Let's go ahead and get four commons. Maybe we'll get lucky, get another gold foil. I'm so tempted to just like one day just grind a ton of glint and then just get as many commons as I can because I really want to get um, gold foil commons on this account and then keep the regular foil don't level them up so the golds are a higher level and then um, when I get enough DEC go ahead and combine these I don't think I want to get them to level 10 to sell I'm thinking anywhere from level 5 to level 8 because a lot of people will have these started and maybe they don't feel like you know, grinding away or, or buying common draws to max out their common. So if I can get like a level five or six, put it on the market, maybe they'll, maybe they'll sell. We'll see. So once again, let's check out the account. Let's look and see how the rares are doing. So Razor Hound is two slinger, just enough slingers to get you to level three. So you pick up an additional damage. Nice, four damage. Might have to start using this card a little bit more. Usually if I have uh, seven mana for death, I always go with the, uh, the Stalker. It's got the three damage and the true strike. Just haven't used this enough to see how much impede really makes a difference in a battle. Okay, so nice, we got him to three. Leopard, we only need one more copy. These are three. Yep, this is the one I really want to level, the Arborist. So it looks like most of these are sitting pretty good at three. Yep, so we're threes across the board except for Razor Hound, which I really don't use. And like I said, the main one is the one that I'm farthest away on, the Arborist. I still need, what, six more copies of that. Uh, let's look at commons. Okay, so the elder is level five. Level five. Level four for the brave. Thug is another one. I'd like to get that to five, but got a ways to go there. Explorer, I need two more. And I think I need three more of the trader. So yeah, so I need another day where I just get a ton of commons, and we get those uh, get those knocked out. Okay, guys, there you have it. Just a real quick um, Glint store buy video for today. You can see where the collection sits. Actually, if you want to look uh, for epics, this is how I'm sitting on epics, uh, level two across the board. I'm so happy to get that uh, Arachne Weaver gold foil. I use this all the time. So to have it level two and get that extra 10% Glint is huge. Shock Trooper, of course, everyone knows is great in Back to Basics. Haven't played Olivia a whole lot just because I don't play a lot of life. Um, Thandorian Blade, uh, for six mana, I usually go Catrell Bus, so I don't use this card very much. Uh, Night Reaper is also a great card and one of my favorites. So there you have it, guys. Uh, tomorrow I will be working on the next Market Watch video. Uh, I'm trying to remember if it's land or cards this week. I think it's cards. I think I did land uh, last week. So stay tuned for the Mark Watch video. Uh, that'll come out sometime tomorrow. So hope you guys are doing well. And as always, stay the course, keep on forging, have fun. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.